made it here eventually. Just got them all out of the shed. Uh, yeah. Weren't too dramatic. One of the batteries went flat, so it wouldn't start the little one that was at the back of the shed. But I'm just going to change them all around so I can work on them. That what the C obviously I'm put I'm gonna try and put the the skirt on the back and I've got some I've got some for that one for the little one I got some like um like orangey wood stain. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today but I wanna try and wood stain that before well at some point this year on the head on the reel because it hasn't been it's you know that that wood has not got anything on it so it's leaving it to the elements so i'll catch it as soon as i can actually it might be worth getting some some woodworm killer on it as well first but i'll catch up with you in a minute because i want to try and get these way i ain't got much fuel so i'm going to put a couple of them back in the shed so um i'll catch up with you in a minute hey all right so got them in the shed now i'll just show you through some of the stuff so obviously i've got those bits that's going on that today this skirt that um i'm going to use these panel pins to to pin it to the wood uh try not to get it too dirty because obviously it's white and it picks up the dirt really well so i've got to find somewhere to put that um that thermostat i'm actually going to go home and try that um see if it works but i found that that's the therm that's the correct thermostat for a gleat for a gleaning D uh, perkins engine so i hope if that works good if it doesn't i'm after one i'm after i'm after them anyway if anybody sort of knows what that is you know i can't seem to find a number on it but you know it's it doesn't appear to be a a very common sort of shape but that's the ideal sort of thing that i want that you know I'm gonna to have to have a, another look because I want I want one for this. I definitely do. Um, I know that the the bloke I bought this off, he said he took the one out of that because it was overheating in summer and he just took it out and it never went back in again. It has got one in it at the minute, but I don't think it's, it seems to work all right. But it doesn't it doesn't seem to get super hot that one. That one seems to get quite hot. Uh, that one that one actually starts the best out of all of them and that one's got slightly the oil pressure's not the best in that a bit like this C was but uh, anyway so I've got all these bits that I'm going to sift through you know and all kinds of stuff you know there's a beater there that's a that that is the beater that goes behind the drum I've got loads of belts but I'm going to go through and sort of you know, a lot of the stuff I'll probably end up keeping, but I just want to make it a slightly tidier sort of mess. And there's, I mean, there's gearbox parts in there from where I rebuilt a gearbox, all, you know, ages ago. And it's just, I don't know, where do, you, where do you start and begin with it all? You keep it all and, you know, half the stuff I don't even know I've got it. And, um... I just want to, while I'm down here for this couple of weeks, see, look, there's a whole pallet of bits there. Um, yeah. Oh, well, looking at it, you know, basically, it's just a case of just going at it. Um, can't remember if I told I'll tell you what that is. That's, that, that there, that shaft, is actually the original shaft out of that sea. And um, we were because um, the bearings of the, I think it was the, I can't remember which exact bearing it was. Ah, that one there. It had cut into, one of them anyway, it cut into the shaft quite, quite substantially. And we tried to fix it as it was and we couldn't do it. We sort of did a few different things in the end we actually took one out of my friend's super c that had been sat in the field and that worked perfectly uh yeah so yeah there's not much wrong with these con ones at all you know not really i mean there's there's you know i bent an idiot you've got to be so careful so i bet that'll straighten out the, the steps are bent on the back of the 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 little humpback little things like that 
you know, there's always, you know, I'm sure you people who've been working with combines longer than I've been alive, some of you, I'm sure, will know that there's always something wrong. That's my, certainly my experience anyway. There's always something that you could improve. But there's nothing on these combines that I think would would stop them doing a the season. There just isn't. Um, they say, well, I'm down here, just do as much as I can. And yeah, I bought this. I bought this. It's called Marigold. And that's about the nearest colour I could get. I'm going to get some worm killer which it doesn't seem to have it yet but i'll catch it just in time and i'm going to paint these delicate carefully paint these i'm not going to take them off but i'm just going to go through that and paint that yeah happy days um no complaints nothing wrong but i thought you know just see how the day goes i've got to get on because i got here a bit late but i'll uh, see you later I've had a bit of a play about seeing what I'm doing. So this bit of wood there, look. So that's the back edge. That sits like that. And traps, the idea being that it traps the canvas in between the, the, com, the combine back. And it sandwiches it between it. But what I've decided to do to get it straight is put these little... Uh, I did have a stapler to do it, like a proper staple gun that I bought when I did the last job. I can't find it anywhere, so it's the trouble. I haven't been using my stuff for a little while. I decided to have a tidy up and I've put stuff, um, you know, I put it somewhere. I, st I think I'd give it to my dad to, so that he could use it. Well, I didn't need it, but he can't remember. I'm sure I did, but I can't prove it. So it's, it's somewhere in my parents' house, I think, and can't find it, but so anyway. So I'm using these little tiny little pins, just little pins, just to hold that one in place. And then we'll go from there and see how it goes. Yeah, I've got some some clamps here somewhere. Well, I did have, yeah, there, yeah, yeah, some clamps there just to hold it on when I'm doing it. So, yeah, getting there. Hopefully it'll be quite healthy when I finish. Need to give it a clean. As unfortunately, it picks up a lot of grub, but it will do that anyway. I noticed I had to check what I'd done on the other one. I want it the same. I was thinking of leaving that stitch on the outside, but I put it on the inside on that one, and it's been okay. But I'm thinking, you know, put it on the outside so it doesn't catch. But if you put it that way round, it's not as tidy. So I'm going to go with the tidy option and um, go from there. Catch up with you in a So that's the basic idea. I've got, I managed to find these like dome countersunk washers. I bought them before for the, for when I did that other one. I thought they looked a bit tidier than normal washers. Um, so yeah, I managed to find them again. I was looking for them yesterday at home, but I didn't realize I had them down here at the common shed. You keep those clamps on there. And then the idea is, now I can fold that one to its rightful place and put the wood on there. And then once I've done that, I can put the metal in. It's, uh, it's worked out worked out quite well. So just I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna see how, somehow try and fix the panel pins on without having to take it off again um, I'll work it out be a lot easier without the phone in my hand so I'll catch up with you in a minute here you go coming together I've got the metal bar in that now I'm going to have to get a better screwdriver but I've seen I managed to trap that it's not that's not wonderful but yeah, it's pretty good do you know one thing I noticed though which is it doesn't matter too much but it's just something that actually that side is cut flat but that side tapers down but i'm not going to let it worry me too much because it would have means that you know it's not the end of the world it would have been a nice it would have been nice if it was symmetrical but i don't think it matters because if it hangs lower on one side you know sometimes that's benefit you know it would just be a little bit lower here so 
guess it'll you know take a little bit more wind out of it but there you go so nearly there it's gone on quite well actually yeah it's not worked out too badly at all all right I'll catch up with you in a minute just there it's a bit not sitting quite right that obviously needs straightening up somehow bit of a kink in there but I folded it round there just, but that's that's actually pretty good I'm happy with that um, yeah I noticed for some reason like I say I showed you that goes to a this side goes to a point and that side hangs down. Which I don't suppose it's that much of a problem really. It would have been nice if they were both the same, but uh, it doesn't really bother me. It just means that that side, you, you sometimes see them. Uh, that, you know, they just have a thing on one side. So, you know, it's not all bad. In fact, it's pretty good. I'm quite glad, I'm quite, I'm quite glad with this. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to pull that up somehow. But I'll do that in a minute. Got some food to eat. Mm. Yeah, nice combo on this one. Got a bacon and egg sandwich, some crisps and one of these nourishment drinks. So gonna enjoy that and then get on with a tidy up, a big old job. Um, but yeah, it's got to be done. Got some serious amount of work to do, so I'll have a break and I'll see you in a while. Just before I go through this, before I show you the vast majority of the like second hand, mostly second hand spares I've got here, just to let you know, obviously, most of you do know, but I've got uh, as far as spares goes i've actually got a a whole model c header that was off my model c that caught fire um not in the most fantastic condition but it's it's there if anybody need want you know can think of anything that they could do with um it's got i think a model a elevate a clean grain elevator in it it's got a returns elevator and it's got an an old unloading auger in there you know, none of them are beautiful, but they're, you know, they're all right. They're salvageable as bits there. So, and up at, up at Leicester, I got, I still got two square back combines, most of the bits on them. Uh, there's a header up there. And we have had bits and pieces off it, but the, you know, the, the vast majority of bits are there. And uh, there's obviously that old humpback that I had the transmission out for this, for this one. That's still there. I mean, there ain't much left on that one. There's an engine on it. If anybody ever wanted that. Um, I've covered it up as well. So it's, the engine's covered over. I keep meaning to take it off really, but I was just getting around to doing it. But I covered it over with a piece of metal so that you know, the worst of the weather's kept off of that. And the, the header for that as well, for that, that humpback, it's what it is. It's one of these as a humpback so it's fixed the combine was a fixed fixed drum speed uh it's got a tool elevator like that one but it's in between this and that that one at the back so it's sort of like in the in between period so effectively it's one of these with a humpback and i've still got the header and you know some of the bits and pieces in there took the like say the tool elevator uh, it's all kicking about still so there you go. Just thought I'd let you know. On the off chance there might be somebody watching who thinks, yeah, I need, could do a bit. Uh, just let us know and I'll get onto it as soon as I get a chance. All right, lovely. All right, I'll just briefly go over what bits I've got. Well, the bits I've found so far, I've had a bit of a tidy up. And without going on too much for too long, I'll uh, just show you roughly what I've got. So, 
That's the sheet that's been painted. That's a return sheet into the header. Model C uh, returns elevator, um, guard rails, a few bits and pieces. They're not complete rams, but they're just inners and outers. Uh, Model C counter shaft that needs repairing, but it's still, it's still there if somebody wants it. It just needs a, the bearing to cut into one of the ends. I'll show you what I did show you earlier. There's a um, header control switch, hydraulic control switch for the, for the header, reel, reel and header. That's from Model A. That, uh, that, that's been welded, so that's a RAS bar, there's only one. But it's, you know, it's never been used, but it's been snapped in half. Somebody's welded it, so it should be all right um, if anybody wants it. That's a drum cover, Model A. That's um, intermediate reel drive belt cover. Uh, a few, like, um, belt guards there. They're unloading auger, um, engager. Um... Yeah, I think the um, real tensioner guard for the real belt. Um, upper and lower sieves, they they are rotten, but I've kept them anyway because obviously there's there's bits on there that can be used. I think it would be negative to throw them away. Somebody give me these. So they aren't original, but they've been made. Obviously, they could do a painting again, but you know, if anybody wants them, more than welcome. I mean, unfortunately, they're the only two I've got. Um, you know, bits of wood for the reel, for there, there for a 10 foot header. Um, that one isn't original, but it's looking all right. It's not too bad. Um, those have got woodworm, so, but they're there if anybody wants them. Um, just general hoses and bits of pieces. I mean, okay, I'll put my hands up, I admit some of this stuff isn't very special, but this kind of stuff's very hard to find. So keeping it, at least there's like a pattern for somebody or something, you know, it's, if I can keep it, I think it's better off. You know, I kind of, some of it, I think, well, I should chuck it away. But then I think, well, why don't I chuck it away? And it's gone then forever. So it ain't no use at all then. Whereas if I just keep it in here, and so I'm trying to tidy it up a bit, it's just so, so that I can actually see what I've got. The idea is that I'm going to put sprockets in one box, chains and chains and sprockets and pulleys together, belts together, sieves together, guards together, so that you can see what's there, so that I don't, you know, if somebody asks me for something, I can come and I can see what's there a bit easier. That's the idea behind it. And I am chucking away a few bits and pieces that, I've, that are just no good. So... Uh, I'll just show you the rest. So yeah, various belts. I've kept some, you know, less, um, you know, they're not the, some of the belts, not the greatest standard in the world. Some of them are all right. But what, what it is, if they're still functioning belts, and they look a bit, you see, I, I try and keep tidy belts on the combines, really. But if one of them breaks and I've got a scruffy belt that can go on it, it's going to get through for a couple of days or whatever you know just get keep us going for a little while while we wait for a belt to come in because a lot of these belts for these cleaners you don't get them off a the shelf very easy there's a few of them that are hard to get so if it ties us over then that's good uh so yeah i mean they're, they're here if anybody wants that's actually see there they are really hard to get hold of i didn't even realize i had that so they are very hard to find they are that's the that's the radiator that's let me think, that's cool, that's cool into the engine, so that's cool and cooled down into the engine from the bottom of the radiator. Very hard to find them. Adjuster, adjuster for the tines in the auger. Uh, dynamo. Um, tines. Engine guard. Um, that is a, ref a reflighted, reflighted clean grain auger. Um, that is actually off of Massey Harris 21. So that's really old, that is. So, you know, if anybody's got a Massey 21 and they need a rear comb for the sieve, let us know. Um, Pitman drive for the, the uh, knife. 
a few different my mates actually kind of claimed one of them so i got one of those sold they're um speedos for the drum various pulleys there different ones like header and stuff um clean grain elevator like the actual chain um model c 10 foot model c header drive shaft I've got that actually, sickle service, I'm not selling that, but that does the knives pretty well, so if anybody's local and they want to, you know, you, you can borrow it, if you want to do, do an old knife, rivet an old knife, as long as I get it back, a few more, I think they're clean grain, yeah, they're clean grain elevator chains, rattles, hard to find they are, um, I'm sure, 100 percent sure they're complete. I can't remember now, but you know they're, they're there. Um, quite possibly not the best condition in the world, but like I say, they're, they're you know they are obviously used. Um, again, a few different areas. See those ones? They are actually chains off of my old Model C that caught fire. They are rattle chains. They need the wood putting back on them. That is rear beater for Model A. It goes behind the drum. Good condition. Makes hell of a difference if you've got a different one there. I and mean, if your edges are worn down on here, putting this in makes a world of difference. I know on that combine, when I rebuilt it a few years back, I had a brand new beater put in it. And that little bit of extra, when it comes off the drum, when the straw comes up, when the like, fresh crop comes out of the drum and it kicks it, that makes all the world a difference. Big, real big difference it makes. And um, to the separation. Yeah, it really does. Um, drum cover Model A. That's an old traction belt. It's not the best, but it'll get somebody through if they need one. You know, it's obviously worn out. You're not going to get the full speed variation. That is a drive sprocket for a... I think that's a drive sprocket for a eight foot EA fixed fixed drum speed. So that's that's the sprocket that goes on the end of the, the header drive shaft. On the inside, where the combo drive comes from the combine. There's an old ram there as well. Don't know quite what's up with that while that's down there, but that's um steering box for a model A. Um there is actually a I don't know if I showed you this little worm gear for the steering box down down there, like brand new one. Rusty like it, I need cleaning up, but it's, it isn't, the worm itself isn't worn out. If anybody wants that for a steering box rebuild. Um, that's a Villiers motorbike engine off a really old Atco lawnmower. I've, I had it and I left it somewhere where they promised I could keep it. And they threw it in a skip. But I'll... I won't even go into that one, but that's the engine off of it. If anybody wants it, anybody wants it, you know, I mean, really, I should throw it in a skip, but, you know, it's there if anybody wants it. It's got a really old spark plug on it. I mean, effectively, there's nothing wrong with it, you know, apart from the fact the rest of it got flipping smashed up by someone. Um, yeah, that um, radiator screen, not like dust screen, if anybody wants that. I think it needs a little, little bit of TLC, but it's it's all there. It'll be straightened out. Again, various belts, and some more guards down there. Mesh guards. There you go. Try to keep it to, to as point as possible. I don't want to sort of keep on going on and on and on. Just keep it, you know, keep it sweet. So, yeah, just want to mention Finland Crusader. I keep forgetting the name. I actually um, didn't realise, but one of my one of my friends on Facebook notified me and saying, you know, told me his real name, and I realised I I have spoken to him before because he comes up on my Facebook. I've never met him in real life. The Fenland Crusader is doing the, he run, like I mentioned my video yesterday, he's actually running all old machinery, so just anything from, you know, 
Ford's and Majors, that kind of thing, and they've got a couple of old Massey combines, a Massey 788 and a Massey 780. Managed to watch the rest of his video last night. Yeah, very good. You know, definitely a man after my own heart. He's doing things that, you know, he's doing what I wish I could do. Uh, in the sense, obviously, I've got these combines, but I wish I could do a whole lot, really. I wish I could do a little bit more varied. I kind of... Kind of upsets me a little bit that I had to keep on sharing these combines, but this is what I've got, so this is what I share. Um, so, yeah, I just, you know, fair play to the guy, you know. I, um, yeah, like I say, he, I just wish I could, I wish I was doing what he's doing, you know. Um, if, you know, as far as the kind of way, the way he does his channel and the, the machinery he's got, you know, that that's my, definitely my kind of thing, and that, that's sort of where I'd be at if, you know, if I could potentially get my channel to be anything, you know, anything more than what it is, um, I'm limited in what I can do. But that's the con, that's it, you know, that, that variation in farm work, having all the different machines to do the different jobs, all like old and interesting things, uh, you know, to do each job in season, you know, I'd love to do that. And yeah. Fenland Crusader. Have a look at his. He's got another video up today, Combine. Uh, he got, like I say, he had one. I watched his first one last night for his Massey 780, but he's done another one now. So, yeah, have a look. I won't spoil the fun for you. But the, the, the first one was half an hour, so, you know, have a look at this one. I'm, I'm definitely going to follow what he's doing and give him, you know, word of encouragement, you know. Um, so, yeah. There you go, I will see you probably, I might just do a little update next week in the week, and then hopefully next weekend, I'm planning on going to a little show at oh, Ashby Magna, up by Lutterworth. My uh, friend of mine on Facebook, Alice Charms Collector, is taking a tractor, or he's taking a couple of bits of kit there, Alice Charms Tractor, um, and I'm going to go and meet him. And um, he's got a little crop say a little he's got an all crop 60 Alice Chalmers combine that I'm hoping to look at so yeah I'll catch up with you again goodbye